All right, hey there guys. Um, so I've had a few comments asking, how do I get this into that? Um, this is a standard F-150. Uh, I think it's called a crew cab or super cab or whatever. It's the one with five seats on the inside. I think the bed length is six and a half feet. So a standard bedside bed is eight feet. So it's not quite eight feet. I think it's six and a half. So I'm gonna show you guys the steps to do this solo to get your raft. Uh, it's a 13 and a half foot raft into the back of that truck without actually, you know, hurting your back or anything like that. So I'm gonna set up a couple of cameras. I'm gonna be talking to you guys and I'll probably put this on my head so you can kind of see a first person view and I got my tripod set up as well. Let's get going. Hopefully this will be helpful for those of you that are raft owners. And, uh, and again, some people asked for this video, so hopefully this helps you. All right, so the first step to doing this solo is that you have to remove as much weight as you can um, because it will make it so much easier. Um, so first step is you're gonna be removing your oars. We're gonna toss these to the side. We're gonna remove nets as well. Even though the nets aren't very heavy, we're gonna remove those too. Um, and at this point, I leave my rods in. I have everything out of the raft. Um, one thing is you should probably take your external bilge and you should pump the inside. Um, but don't do that just yet. That's gonna be our next step. So the best way to get the raft into the boat is not to have it going straight on. You actually wanna have it at an angle, a little bit past the edge of your truck. So what you can do is you can lift up and you can actually kind of set it on right here. So this is step one. Gonna grab and you're gonna just push it over like that. At this point, we now are gonna remove that water in the back with our external bilge. So take the bilge, Put her down there, pump out any water that you need to pump out. Um, there's a lot of water that accumulates, even, even if you're just in and out of the boat a few times, water accumulates and any weight makes this much, much harder. So at this point, we are close to the end. And I know that was right there, but what we're gonna do is we're going to pull up on this a few times and we'll be at the point of being able to get this up into the truck. So what you need to do, take a hand here, hand here, and we're just going to pull. We pull once on this side and now we're gonna go to the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. And we're gonna have to do this a couple of times. What we're trying to do is get as much of the weight of the raft into the truck before we lift up the back. If you lift up the back too soon, you end up having a ton of weight that you're trying to lift up and it's much easier to pull a couple of times and get the raft up into the truck. All right. We're gonna do this once more. And now we are basically ready to pick up the back and push it in. But there's one final crucial step. You need to come up here and you need to see how firm your tubes are. You see this? That is way too firm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let out some air. 
Now that is going to be much, much, much easier to get in. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna check. Yep, we're gonna let out a tiny bit of air. And at this point, when we lift up on this, it's gonna slide straight in. Mm, you see how it's a little off kilter? We're gonna just push it over just a titch. All right. So when you lift here, make sure that you're not lifting like this, because that's how you hurt your back. Instead, get your back in a good spot. You're gonna wanna squat down and you're gonna lift up. At this point, we're just going to push it straight in, just like that. Um, if you're an older guy, maybe you don't wanna push it up over your head. Maybe you just wanna push straight in and you can do that. You'll just need to take out a little bit of air on both of the side tubes as well. And uh, easy peasy, that's it. That's how you put the raft in the back of the truck.